Next, let's consider example of simply supported beam with spring where the spring is connected at the midpoint of the simply supported beam and there is a force F acting at the mid span of the beam in downward direction. Now under the action of this force the system will deform like this and this let's call this displacement of point B YB in downward direction and the spring will stretch like this and here note that the displacement of the beam in downward direction is YB and the stretching of the spring in the downward direction is also equals to YB so both the beam and the spring have same displacement and now if I draw free body diagram at point B for the beam and spring then here note that the force in the spring say is F1 then on the beam we'll have F1 force in upward direction and there is a force F in downward direction so net force on the beam will be F minus F1 in downward direction and the force in the spring will be F1 so here we see that the forces in the beam and spring are different so you note that the beam and the spring have same displacement and the forces in the beam and spring are different so this implies that beam and spring are in parallel now because they are in parallel then we can easily find their equivalent stiffness if this force F is in downward direction now the stiffness of simply supported beam acted by force F at the mid span in downward direction is KB equals to 48 EI upon L cube and because the spring and the simply supported beam are in parallel so their equivalent stiffness will be KB plus K so I can write K equivalent equals to 48 EI upon L cubed plus K